The monk or you? Me! I care about the monk. I care about the monk? Yeah. From my husband. Your husband's floating around? Yeah. So he's like, that's the woman from Oak yeah. Island. Uh, okay, that's the one. I gotta go, right? And you're expecting it to be wait in line, boring, right? Oh, I'm waiting for that person. I'm just getting in this line for five hours. A lot of people think that's how it is. This is a show. You know, I've been in classrooms a long, long time. I like it to be a classroom where everybody learns from everybody else's stuff. So tell me, Susan, how did you acquire this, and is this a relation? I acquired it at an auction. You bought this at an auction, so not related to you. So there is no specific provenance from the French to prove it. There's no family lineage to you in this object. Too bad. Why did you buy it at the auction? It is an occupational shaving mug. That means it's a mug that you would put the shaving cream, the soap in, and then you'd basically shave someone's face. If you were working in a barber shop before 1910, right? It has a mark on the bottom, which indicates where it was made, and it has an image of a baseball player, specifically a catcher, and a name of that catcher. Not related to you. Okay. That's too bad. It would increase value by 40%. Too bad. All right, it's yours. We're like, I can find somebody with this name. <laughs> it smells like my name. My name is Smith, their name is Decker, but it's close. Right? Make it close. And the occupation is very important. And the more rare or unusual the occupation, the more valuable the occupational shaving mug. Right? So, you know, someone would walk into a barber shop and they'd sit down and they go, Oh, Mr. Jones, you're here. It's great to see you. And he's the undertaker. And they'd go get the mug with. It would say Jones on the top, and then it would have a hearse on the mug, painted on. So this is the catcher for the, base, for the baseball team. Remember, baseball goes back to 1845. This piece dates to about 1905. And value on it is about $300. What should you pay at auction? More than 300 Okay, how long ago? It's about a month ago. Okay, well, you really got taken at the auction because usually, 99 times out of 100, guess what happens? When you buy at auction, you get a bargain. When you sell at auction, you lose your shirt. Usually the buyer does better, but today about $300. So you actually are in the wholesale market at the auction paying a retail price. Wow. We don't want to do that again. Okay, I'm glad he likes baseball. 